635 right now and happening today, people in Oakland bracing for a strike, but not one with labor actions or picket lines. This one includes frustrated business owners asking for more help. Today in the base, Ginger Conaharo Saab is with us this morning out of Oakland. And Ginger, this is really those business owners letting the leaders in Oakland know they're fed up. That is exactly right, Marcus. It's a strong message that they want to send to their local officials, business owners who have repeatedly dealt with robberies and break-ins. They're saying enough is enough. And Nigel Jones is one of those business owners. He owns Kingston 11 here in Oakland. He said his business was broken into less than a month ago. Thieves took cash, they shattered his front windows, and they left him with more than $2,000 in damages. So he is striking today and he isn't the only one. A group of Oakland business owners are planning to close their doors, some for the entire day, others for several hours, to get the attention of local officials. They want improvements to public safety, including more police patrols on the street and more financial assistance for local merchants. Those instances of aggression, economic aggression, actually impact your team directly or indirectly, but they also impact the other businesses. Carl Chan, the president of the Oakland Chinatown Chamber Foundation, is organizing the strike. He says those who are going on strike are calling for funding from all levels of government. And you'll remember that Oakland made headlines last week for missing a deadline to apply for state grant money in helping address uh, crime within the state. And that, Mark, is coupled with what business owners are experiencing, like Nigel Jones, you know, less than a month ago, his business got broken into. With what they're experiencing in the community, they're really saying that uh, this is uh, enough is enough. And it's um, extreme frustration that's really motivating this strike. There is a press conference that we're looking out for uh, that will begin at 10 this morning. It's happening outside Le Cheval Restaurant, also here in Oakland. And unfortunately, that restaurant has made the recent announcement that it will close its doors. So before more restaurants like that do the same thing, uh, these business owners are really hoping they can uh, make some significant change. Marcus?